The school to work continuum is given to students in grades 12 and 12 plus who participate in the extended curriculum. The assessment is an observational survey designed to reflect the work skills the student demonstrates during the testing window. The purpose of the continuum is to monitor progress and target instruction, help determine appropriate post-secondary outcomes, communicate with educational decision makers and agencies as to the skill levels of students, and in providing a common language when discussing work skills. The assessment is given three times per year in August, December, and May, or upon entry into and exit from special education schools. The assessment is made up of nine workplace skills the student will be rated on. They'll be rated using two different scales, a skill scale that will rate a student's ability to perform a task and a prompting scale that will rate a student's need for cues in order to complete a task. The case manager will decide an appropriate setting for a student in employment. Do they need a 1 to 1 to 1 to 10 ratio of caregivers to students? Or do they need 1 to 11 to 1 to 30? Will they be going into competitive with time limited support or competitive employment? So they'll be looking at the appropriate column all the way down the assessment. They'll look at each individual skill and determine whether or not a student is able to complete that skill. The first skill is stamina. Is the student able to physically endure demands of the task? And do they maintain consistent work pace and quality for duration of the job? The case manager will then look at the appropriate column for the student and then get further guidance from there. If the student is determined to be in a 1 to 1 to 1 to 10 ratio, they will then look at are they able to work with 1 to 1 to 1 to 6 support and can they tolerate a 4 to 6 hour program day with limited breaks. They will then be rated on the skill scale and the prompting skill for stamina before moving on to safety. Safety will then be rated on the skill scale and the prompting skill before moving on to task completion, self-initiation, transitions, navigating the environment, following workplace policies, personal care, behavior self-regulation, and communication. Once a student has been rated on all of these skills in the appropriate column, the case manager will move down to the final page and they will state the maximum ratio for client supervisor that is appropriate for the student and they'll be able to record any comments that will help inform instruction before the next assessment is given. They'll also be able to record a skill scale total and a prompt level total. All of this information can be found on the SSD Life page under Schools and Academic Programs, Curriculum and Professional Development, the SSD Schools Assessments page, and then there is a folder called School to Work Continuum that houses all of this data.